Welcome everyone. Today we have with us Shashank sir. Shashank sir is founder of Value Educator. Sir needs no introduction. You all might have been following his YouTube channel and Twitter handle. He writes fantastic threads on uh, Twitter and makes fabulous, fabulous in-depth analysis videos on YouTube. Right. Welcome on the podcast, sir. How are you? Thank you very much, Jai, uh, for uh, having this session. And I'm I'm doing very very good. Thank you. Great, 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 sir. The first question to you is, sir, how did you get started in stock markets? Like, what was your inspiration to uh, stock markets? Like, so if you if you see, like, uh, when I was very young, I mean, yeah. that time I didn't knew anything about about stock market. Very young means like 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 a child. I mean, when I was uh-huh. only at 10, 10 years of age, yeah. uh, my dad had certain investments which he used to discuss with his friends. Uh-huh. And that time we didn't have any internet. So I'm probably talking 2000s or 2001 and two. So that yeah. time like there was no internet. And uh, that time you have to call the broker and broker used to put, put your order. Yeah. Right. So, so to know the rate at what price uh, you're going to execute, you either have to watch the ticker, which you should get displayed on uh, various TV channels. So my dad had like a various investments. So uh, when he used to be in office uh, and he, if he wanted to put some trade, so we had like a landline that time, that, that time there was no mobile phones also. So yeah. he used to call me and just check uh, on a TV that uh, Punjab tractors ka rate catch over. Uh-huh. I used to take that rate and then tell him, tell him. And then he used to do certain transactions, which I don't had any clue. So फिर बाद में वो टिकर घूमता रहता है तो फिर मैं एक-एक एक स्टॉक्स उसमें इसका ये रेट है आज इसका ये रेट है ऐसा करके लाइक इट जस्ट स्टार्टेड वेरी बेसिकली व्हेन आई वाज प्रोबब्ली वेरी लाइक 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 अ चाइल्ड एंड देन देयर वाज अ गुड गैप बिकॉज़ आई गॉट देन बिजी इन माय एकेडमिक्स एंड लाइक एंड वेरी स्टफ एंड आई एम फ्रॉम अ इंजीनियरिंग बैकग्राउंड सो व्हेन आई वाज डूइंग इंजीनियरिंग प्रोबब्ली फ्रॉम एट लीस्ट फर्स्ट और सेकंड सेकंड ईयर Yeah. So that time then I, uh, I mean, I f- was following uh, Warren Buffett uh, on and off, uh, reading few things about him, but not never followed like very keenly, ki, like, mm-hmm. karna hai aage jake. but always had a thought that yeah, I, I, I should have my own business and I should develop it over the period of time. So it, it started developing uh, basically from that point of time, then I started reading about uh like few books uh, and related to business related to various investment philosophies uh, then warren buffett and uh, and his uh, newsletter i mean uh, like letters to shareholders yeah but uh, it was like bit bit difficult to understand then i found uh, mr ramdev agarwal yeah it was like he used to explain the things in very very simple, simple. And then that connected with uh, me very easily. Then I downloaded all the past uh, wealth creation studies by Motila Loswal and then they were very easy to understand. So I started reading and that is how it developed. And then the more and more curiosity probably due to my, I don't know, like engineering background or my nature. So that actually helped me a lot to understand about various uh, sectors. And I don't know like that the engineering, I mean, I will just give you some reference. Yeah. So Javi, like when I used to, in, to study about my engineering subjects, I mean, subject yeah. the, the. <laughs> why this thing, why that thing, like, ye kya se aaya, iska logic kya hai. So, to me, in academics, it didn't help me much, but like it is helping me a lot in life, the, the, like stock market or like investing because till, until, unless you don't know the process or, or or a complete uh, understanding of that uh, sector, it is very difficult to take a decision when things go wrong. Yeah. Uh, to understanding a mistake is also very important. Like if you invest a hundred rupee on stock, say came to 50 rupee. Now question is that, have you done a mistake or have you not? Because just by looking at the price, you cannot determine it was your mistake. It might be market phenomena. It might be any other thing. But if you know that your research is good and and uh, probably you understood that this is my mistake. At least I will save save myself from going from 50 rupees to 25 rupees. And I will save that probably another 50% of the drop. So understanding a business, uh, understanding a mistake is, is very important. That also comes by reading and various things. So this was like a basic introduction to market. And then 
then uh, like uh, we can discuss uh, as we we'll go uh, like yeah yeah then then the after your engineering what happened to your journey in stock market okay so good question so uh, see like i i had a basic understanding about it i wanted to do this thing always but yeah i didn't had a capital to start uh-huh. so you need you need a knowledge and you need a capital and i didn't have both i didn't have had knowledge i didn't had capital <laughs> so i thought like let's let's uh, build a capital and while building a capital let's uh, uh, let's also build a knowledge yeah so when i was in engineering i started the my own uh, coaching uh, classes as a i mean i used to teach my juniors yeah when i, when I was in engineering and wow. i started earning something out of it then i expanded as business then that gave me good good cash flows uh, over some wow. years and yeah. that gave Fantastic. me good, uh, good finance Uh, so that like i will able to stay uh, stay afloat uh, for few years and put that time full time into a research and then later i started the value indicator and then then this journey actually so, what was this coaching for like the 11 12 standard so, so it was like for i mean i initially i started on my own yeah. and then i probably had like 20 to 30 teachers with me i explained wow. it uh so so we used to take like coaching for everything starting from the schools uh, people uh, child and 11 12 engineering wow we started so we had like various teachers for various division fantastic so so, so that is what like uh, given me the cash flows and some time to read uh, about various businesses and then then like uh, i shifted here because this was like a passion and this is what thing i wanted to i was most interested about yeah and uh, but but i told you like i didn't had a knowledge i didn't had a finance so slowly i created a knowledge also and slowly i created a finance also so because you need both things if you Correct. have only knowledge and no funds you're not going to do anything mm-hmm. but and you have only uh, only funds and no knowledge that is a worst combination <laughs> you can like easily make that funds uh, by go vanish yeah yeah so so like initially also i tried tried uh, a lot of trading uh, and swing trading activities i, I yeah. had a good experience uh, uh, and uh, some funds out of it uh, but it like used to take a lot of energy in a whole day so mm-hmm. eventually i shifted a bit to, towards investing it is it is relaxing it is like uh, uh, at least uh, my psychology able to tune with uh, this philosophy of staying put for a long period of yeah. time and uh, this has been going on for a while fantastic and when was value educator born you so i think i started in 2019 uh, wow. march, march yeah and when did you finish your engineering then i finished in 2014 15 ah, 14, got it. 13 14 got it. yeah got it. i had like 5 6 years of yeah fantastic yeah you're talking about value educators yeah, yeah so see value educator i didn't had any thought that i will i will like because that time also i was a bit, little bit into coaching side so uh-huh. what i used to do i used to read about different businesses uh, so i thought like if i'm reading it anyways let's put it on the youtube yeah and today also it's the same thought if you if you actually ask me so so anyways we are doing some research for our internal consumption why not to share it with the others so they also probably can learn something out of it if it uh, create some understanding to them so from from this thought i started with very like various one or two videos people started understanding and liking it wow. and then like i also started like because when you do the research and you have to present it for for your audience you have to be really well prepared yeah right? you cannot like put any numbers yeah. and uh because there 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 are people who ask a lot of questions yeah. and i i was very particular from the day one like i need to put the right data i have to back up that data with the proper resources mm. uh, proper uh, research um, so never that there was no thought about like uh, just complete the things in hurry because i myself don't like that thing until unless you don't understand it's better not to put that thing at all so from there then it started and then like uh, started with certain sectors uh, trying to understand them uh, initially i studied almost all the banking sector um, uh, has been some uh, like uh, good got a good experience out of it uh-huh. then started with pharma chemicals then right now studying building materials 
and some, some other sector real estate so so i think it's a journey where you keep learning at every point of time and you learn from your mistakes and you try to avoid that mistakes that is also like a compounding of a knowledge because you don't compound your mistakes you compound your knowledge right so that is how that uh, you can say operating leverage actually plays out yeah and when you put out a video you have to particularly structure it in a best bestest manner right yeah like first we'll talk about history of the company then we'll talk about what's the what's the key strengths of the company then probably financials in a good presentation like format right so if you check my initial videos i mean there was no format yeah there was just like a the information Flow. like whatever i understood uh-huh. i was there but then slowly slowly i started understanding like i started doing certain changes in my presentations to make it better and easy to understand for the audience audience because initial presentation are good to understand for me because i have yeah. that research but then i understood like oh there is some audience who is also looking uh, and like watching this so those changes i started uh, making and finally i got a very good response and youtube is that thing you learn a lot from your subscribers Yeah. because subscriber will start suggesting you sir ye changes kar do wo changes kar do aisa baat karo aisa i started doing those changes and like people uh, always supported and uh, i wanted to thank all the audience from your channel that like it it really helps you and you become a better person um, you 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 know like uh, what audience is uh, like uh, they wanted to know and then they give like a good support also uh, because youtube is also Like it's a it's a full time thing. You, you have to be very very active over there, and it it becomes very difficult when you are like uh, doing a research because yeah, the research, research process from... involves a lot of time. Correct. So presentation banana will be very difficult to get. Yes, you cannot uh, cover a company in a week. Correct. Right? Like uh, it at least needs uh, at least needs three to four weeks to understand the business, read concourse annual reports. So it takes a lot of time uh, and and. Uh, and another thing like i don't wanted to put anything and everything uh, without uh, in that quality so yeah. it really takes a time so that is that is another challenge but it is everything like it, it is a enjoying kind of a process right. i mean uh, rather than the outcome we should enjoy the process, process. So that, is, that is what i try to do and uh, it has been a very good experience very good journey till now fantastic fantastic what was how is your idea generation process look like sir like how do you get generate good ideas okay so um, so for me particularly i followed a certain sectors in in some detail like so if you check my videos also they are more focused on pharma side they are more pharma focused chemical. on chemical side yeah. so when i started about reading about one company and then second so idea generation that time was like there was no idea generation we started uh-huh. with certain companies and then mujhe pura samajhna tha so that's why i started reading uh, everything about it got it I mean, there were some ideas because like i used to watch uh, the interviews of the famous investors books padte the yeah. Uh, yeah out of various discussion twitter different things were there but if you ask me really where i understood the pharma sector it is more by reading the different annual report different conference calls because when you read a one company you have like a 1% understanding when you read a second company your understanding Uh, increase a bit yeah and then that is also it also compounds a lot because reading a one company may give you 1% understanding reading a five company doesn't give you 5% understanding it is more than five right right because you start connecting the dots uh, between various uh, points like for example if one company is facing supply chain issues the five companies are facing then you can connect the dot that the whole sector is facing some supply chain issues so next quarter might hit the margin means uh, like uh, Yes, your collective understanding is more than sum of it. That is what I am trying to say. It's not like uh, you add one five times it becomes five. Yeah. It's more than always more than five. You as an understanding level, I am saying because yeah. various companies will give you various insights. It's yeah. not like a, every company, even if it is in the same sector, will give you same insight. Like as you PI industry, but okay, so you will understand something uh, about the CDM side when you study some other company like Deepak Nectar. you will understand about uh, their value chain how they have a well integrated value chain and then how they started the phenol so every other company in a same sector gives you some different understand and that is how it builds so i probably have studied like 15 20 30 companies in chemical side and then same about the pharma side so it it un- 
it gives you a better understanding to to reduce your mistakes and investing is all about reducing your mistakes so that your rewards keeps on improving yeah. right so that is generally a process which i followed and then uh, i always uh, for other sectors i always been a bottoms up a kind of an investor or a, uh-huh. try to analyze so i start with the company and, and then, then go I, to industry uh, yes industry so if i ch- check my recent uh, like i'm putting them about so yeah. i i i got interested in that company and then i started looking for the sector it's not like i like, like the sector yeah. because uh, if the sector is good that doesn't mean like the the, the particular company will do good or bad mm-hmm. it depends on what the management is doing and like what their business is all about so yeah. so my approach is generally a bottom up approach yeah fantastic the follow up question to is the you mentioned it the initial videos were focused on pharma and chemical sector right and most of the videos on channel right how yeah. did you build that competency in the particular sector in the pharma and chemical sector and how one can build for each uh, and every sector right so so only i mean one line answer to it is reading right uh, to and pharma, i personally feel pharma and chemical sector are the most difficult sector to understand mm. because every company has different business model when you study the steel company like tata steel and uh, say jsw steel finally they are going to make the steel so you don't have to understand more about ki wo kya process follow kar rahe hain yeah. it's all about the wo finally market mein price kya hai uh-huh. commodity mein it's more of a, like if you you have to be a lowest cost producer and the cycle should be in your favor okay right uh, like or if you understand the fmcg then you have to like uh, understand how the brand is getting built how they set up their distribution network and all but if you come to the chemical or pharma side every company has a different story because yeah. the the raw material is different uh, the supply chain is different uh, the competition into industry is different so understanding every company itself is a studying a different sector so so for example uh, when you study a uh, navin fluorine so you don't only have to study the navin fluorine you need to know about the fluorine as a sector uska history kya hai फिर पहले इनिशियल एप्लीकेशन क्या थे तो बाकी कॉम्पिटिटर क्या है विच आर लाइक गुजरात फ्लोरो एंड एस आर एफ दो वॉट हैज बिन देयर जर्नी वॉट इज द फ्यूचर लुकिंग लाइक सो ये हो गया सिर्फ फ्लोरिनेशन बट नाउ देन यू स्टार्ट लुकिंग से ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट दीपक नाइट्रेट दिट इज नो रिलेशन एट ऑल बिटवीन द दीपक नाइट्रेट एंड फ्लोरिनेशन यू अगेन गो बैक टू जीरो एंड स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर केमिस्ट्री फिनॉल कैसे बनता है फिर फिनल के डाउन स्ट्रीम डेरिवेटिव्स क्या है देन हाउ देयर अदर सेगमेंट्स लाइक दिस स्पेशलिटी केमिकल्स एंड बल्क केमिकल्स एंड ऑप्टिकल ब्राइटनिंग एजेंट्स देन हाउ दे हेल्प एंड लाइक व्हाट वाज अ साइकिल इनटू दैट सेगमेंट्स तो सो वन कंपनी एंड सेकंड कंपनी इज लाइक हैविंग अ ऑल डिफरेंट सेट्स ऑफ केमिकल्स सेम इज अबाउट द पोस्टर सेम इज अबाउट द न्यूजन केमिकल्स एंड many privy specialties into completely different industry which is into the perfumes and like uh, these types of uh, chemicals same is case about the pharma uh, to pharma mem is like generally there are three four sub segments if you can uh, check one is the uh, generic generic which is us generic like bigger companies and pharma yeah. doctor reddies and yeah. all these big giant companies then uh, there is a uh, indian focus companies uh, where they have brand presence like eris life sciences and uh, indopuramides and uh, uh, many many other companies are there so that uh, indian uh, genetic pharma is another opportunity then we have uh, say cdmos like suven pharma uh, cro which is cng uh, so that is one bucket uh, so uh, and then like in future uh, we'll have the biologic based companies as well biocom yeah. started with the bio yeah. and then uh, uh, the injectables is another specific opportunity which comes under generic only so these are the four or five major blocks once you understand then you more or less understand the pharma as a yeah. as a sector and api is another important block yeah so we have the companies like divis lab is a giant into the api side then we have the uh, the other companies like newland labs is there uh, or arthi drugs is there so they are mostly into apis and so this is like about the structure about the two different industries so so while studying every company it's like a studying a different uh, or a separate industry or a, or a sector and ek bar ye dono sector samajh jate hai 
So you can easily study any other sector because mm-hmm. it's like more of a repetition kind of a mm-hmm. thing. and very non technical but here you need to know like very technical details also ki uska value chain kya hai fir wo chemical kahan pe milta hai uska backward integration kya hai to ye thoda complex ho jata hai fantastic fantastic sir another question uh, hai jo mere paas ki if you find a company what all details you look in a company while researching like uh, annual reports con calls uh, management interviews ye sab research process kya hai company mein find karne ke baad Yes, तो मैं मिस इफ आई डोंट इफ आई नो जीरो अबाउट द कंपनी मैं पहले यूट्यूब में जाके देखता हूँ कि क्या है किसी ने वीडियो और आई जस्ट चेक लाइक अबाउट व्हाट मैनेजमेंट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इट दैट इज द फर्स्ट थिंग व्हिच आई डू एंड देन आई रीस आई रीड द लेटेस्ट अवेलेबल कॉन कॉल बिकॉज एनुअल रिपोर्ट से बहुत ज्यादा इन्फॉर्मेशन कॉन कॉल में एनुअल रिपोर्ट में इट्स ओके टू चेक सर्टन थिंग्स लाइक द फाइनेंशियल डिटेल्स और नो अकाउंट कुछ पढ़ना है तो एनुअल रिपोर्ट इज गुड और बिकॉज आजकल के एनुअल रिपोर्ट्स में ज्यादा डिस्क्लोजर भी वो बंद कर दिया उन्होंने पहले एनुअल रिपोर्ट्स में रहते थे कि हाउ मच इज द वॉल्यूम एंड ये वो आज आई डोंट थिंक लाइक वेरी फ्यू कंपनीज डिस्क्लोज देर वॉल्यूम नंबर सो सो आई जनरली देन स्टार्ट विद द लेटेस्ट कॉन कॉल आई जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज द बिजनेस मॉडल एंड वंस आई फील अ गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग और वेरी बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट इट देन आई जम्प टू द वेरी वेरी ओल्ड कॉन कॉल द फर्स्ट अवेलेबल कॉन कॉल it might be 2017 it might be 2012 uh-huh. it might be 2012 so wo first con call low and then then start reading about it like uh-huh. and understand the story and then like uh, in in like next about a week i try to finish out all the con- available con uh-huh. and Fantastic. then like the, the annual reports and then then fir then real scuttle but starts then uh, then i call in my circle ki you know about this company you know about this management फिर 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 देन आई स्टार्ट विद देयर कॉम्पिटिटर्स व्हाट दे आर सेइंग व्हेन देयर वाज अ डाउन साइकिल हाउ दैट कंपनी परफॉर्म एंड हाउ देयर कॉम्पिटिटर्स परफॉर्म फिर फिर वो सम, समझ जाता है दूध का दूध और पानी का पानी कि कौन सच बोल रहा है और कौन सिर्फ वो वो लॉलीपॉप दिखा रहा है सो देयर आर मेनी कंपनीज लाइक दैट व्हिच विल कीप टेलिंग यू वी आर डूइंग गुड बट दे आर ऑन ऑन अ ट्रेडमिल दे आर लाइक नॉट गोइंग एनीवेयर so so management not going to tell you like they are they are not going anywhere it's as a individual investor you have to understand uh, and that understanding you have only when you look for the competition what competition is doing yeah independently on a stand alone basis you check the company you will you will be always biased mm-hmm. so so this is generally like a initial uh, research yeah. process which i generally follow yeah fantastic fantastic what uh, you talked about the scuttlebutt research right where you look at the competitors the ma- how is like the management of it how, how do you do scuttlebutt research in a particular company so so i think uh, scuttlebutt uh, means one very important part of the scuttlebutt is understanding a competition uh-huh. right uh, uh, yeah. once, uh, i'll i'll talk more about yeah. scuttlebutt as we will follow yeah. but uh, until unless you don't know what competition is doing it is very difficult to understand what your business going to do in future uh-huh. right you have to understand the industry structure and fir ek bar aapko competition samajh jata hai ki they are living this plans and they are executing like that then you go on the ground and then you check start checking with uh, their employees uh, which uh, again give you some good feedback good or bad feedback or what is their understanding about the business and uh, then you talk to your friends your circle and then then slowly slowly it it starts uh, building and at the end when my all research is ready i go and meet the management uh-huh. because one of first day if you meet the management wo sab jo bhi bolenge you will yeah you, you blindly follow that right yeah so that should not be the the thing so so this is generally the process uh, then i will i will go on uh, like various forums like value picker is also very good forum there where different guys put their uh thoughts uh, yeah and then then internet mein kafi cheeze mil jati hai you have to have a way for it youtube mein bhi kafi cheeze mil jati yeah. so you keep google googling various stuff uh, and then keep checking mil jati hai means kafi cheeze and then you like if needed uh, go and uh, go on the ground and uh, check the details fantastic fantastic how do you meet management in the uh, management like what's the process for it? So generally when i i complete the research uh, uh, sometimes what happens is like out of a circle also i, I get some 
yeah that access was. to management yeah yeah so i i, I sometimes uh, like wherever i have, have to meet and uh, you don't need to meet the management in all cases mm-hmm. right like banking industry mein management ko milke kya karoge management not going to tell you what is what is there in their books mm-hmm. right and when banking industry ka this is a big issue that no one knows actually what is there in the book so it is more about like who is running a business what is his ah. history and all so ye industry mein i generally don't go for like any any management meets sure. uh, but generally it is out of a circle uh, uh, like i i have developed certain contacts so they help me to reach the management or uh, i check with the investor relations also so they also use the access to the management so but uh, management i am telling you like management meeting a management is the last thing uh-huh. if, if you have a good mini, a good business then only you should go and meet the management uh, and another very simple thing which anyone can do yeah uh, is is go for the annual general meeting asia yeah abhi to thoda wo agm ye covid ki duration mein like online agm se which is like which is of no use uh-huh. but uh, but if you are located say in mumbai Yeah. Any any uh, part. So Mumbai, yeah. like you need to have a hold only one share to attend a AGM. Yeah. Or Mumbai, me, coffee AGMs are there. Like mm-hmm. a lot of AGMs happen in Mumbai. So go for the AGMs. Like there, you will build your circle. Different senior investors comes for the AGMs. They will take full history about the company. Ki ino ne asa kia, asa kia. You can go and check uh, with the management. And I will recommend that uh, go for a smaller company's AGM. because yeah. reliance ka agm ho janne ke baad you won't get anything right yeah. because on going to give you the access to management yeah but if you'll go for the smaller agms like 2000 crores ke niche ke companies yeah. directly you can face to face talk to the management yeah small cap company that ha uh, that gives you the very good insight about the business fantastic so you can start like that and it, it is like uh, you don't need to invest anything you just be a show shareholder with the as minimum as one share one share yeah and then you can you can be there fantastic fantastic what do you think is a major differentiator between a concord and agm so like how can you get, uh, get more information in the agm okay so so agm is not recorded oh so, uh, <laughs> so you can like frankly ask them yeah. uh, fantastic but uh, but uh, concalls ka a good thing about the concalls what i think is uh, is uh, there are many uh, good analyst which asks a lot of questions question, and yeah. uh, transcripts are available and transcripts mm-hmm. are not available only for this financial you have a whole history so you it is your way of understanding like basically how the company progress mm-hmm. so so once you have the history it becomes very easy for you to understand the things right and then then uh, i mean again uh, going to agm is also like a last part when i have a good history and good data which i can relate and understand then i will go and meet the management because yeah. there is no point of meeting a management on a first day correct because mujhe pata hi nahi hai ki unhone historically kya kiya hai and how they handled the situation and what i'm going to go and ask them correct correct okay. Uh, as the covid uh, covid has uh, mostly gone down in india the plant visits have also started sir so uh, what 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 do you look in a plant visit normally uh plant visit yes so it is it is more of a, again understanding a management mm. means uh, uh like how, how they approach to investors what is their vision how hungry they are for their own growth because as you might know like i am more focused on a small cap side correct right i am not a, like a large cap and a blue chip where already everything is discovered and yeah. so we need to see that hunger in them that they have to grow they wanted to grow uh, and uh, they probably are not getting the right valuations uh, so how they are going to execute their whole strategy uh, what are the different changes they are doing in their own systems either on a distribution side or on a manufacturing side or on a procurement side so you can like get all this like a small small details when you go for the the, the plant visits and yeah. when you will do it in number of uh, like different companies with their competition you slowly slowly start understanding 
uh, these things on a day one you may not uh, understand everything okay. but uh, i think um, you understand it uh, understand it over the period of time so that like uh, to get a better understanding you should be ready with your homework uh, which is like yeah, researching the company yes, exactly. in depth yeah. yeah yeah i think that prepares you to ask uh, good questions with the agm also and concord as well yeah Correct. Yeah. and and, uh, and uh, i feel like rather even uh, compared to plant visit con calls is the key mm. Uh, mm. right so if you only because it shows the history of the company yes and you can directly ask the management right yeah. if you have any questions so, yeah. so and you don't have to travel anywhere so that is very yeah uh, very easy way to get some good details about the company yeah fantastic fantastic Yeah. Uh, my next question to you is, sir, what are your future plans with Palio Educator? Like, what do you want to bring in uh, content in YouTube in the future and uh, in the Twitter threads? Yeah. So, like, till now, I have been following uh, more keenly about uh, chemicals and pharmacide, uh-huh. and I hope, uh, like, uh, you all are able to understand some basic details about these sectors. Yeah. So, my next uh, plan is like, I'll start with IT. probably mm-hmm. like in fantastic so i will start the same thing with it and uh, then we'll will uh, keep on adding the more and more industries in our pocket i also started uh, some uh, like a few few real estate companies also and then i will uh, i will add the building materials also which i am right now following so that is the immediate uh, what you can say the task so 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 to give a good understanding about uh, different viewers on different industries and how how the uh, basically structure works into different industries how one should understand because understanding a pharma company and understanding it company it's com- completely different thing right so right. so that is that is generally i am uh then i started my model portfolio service also so in uh-huh. that also i am building a lot of content Wow. Uh, so 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 that yeah. so that is also aim so so generally like a plan is to deliver a good content and the right content and and keep keep giving the updates as and when we progress ahead in a quarter because uh, it's not a static thing right it's it uh, tomorrow what going to happen no one knows so Correct. we have to be prepared and we have to again out out of the experience we have to keep cutting down our mistakes correct correct the the link for the advisory uh, your model portfolio is in the description below so everyone check out valueeducator.com and the youtube channel link is also in the chat box uh, in the description uh, my next question to you is sir, what is the uh, whole process of uh, making a video like you recently tweeted right it requires a lot of like pe- people uh, i think people don't realize that the process of making a uh, one hour video uh, of an analysis is like it takes a month almost a month like even if research is done in two weeks the the process of making extracting all the information putting in a short uh, uh, an informative ppt is also huge can you give so, us so <laughs> very very good question so i will uh... i will just uh, give you a good example of praj industries yeah uh, i would like chat okay uh, so uh, like uh, i recently conducted a webinar for that yeah so it was about a 4 hour webinar uh, wow. and i have created wow. like about 200 slides for it yeah so so it took me about 2 months to, wow. to do the research and put up the the slide slide i have not prepared another guy prepared but i was daily probably working about 8 hours or 10 hours to read about the taj industry so i might have read like like minimum 1000 pages uh, to know more about the taj industry business so so it takes a lot of time it is not the easy process uh, and and another thing another challenge with the research is that uh, you don't get the data in a sequence mm. right if you need a 10 data points yeah. you always will get a fifth one first and then then the second one and then the eighth one yeah so like that in form you get like random data you will get but yeah. while presenting you have to make it a sequence structured correct 
Yeah, and uh, otherwise no one going to watch your video. How wet and good, good it going to be? Okay. So, so to get that in between dots or in between points, I have to keep reading about different different uh, documents. So I remember one instance as uh, you asked. Yeah. Me. So it was related to Praj only. Yeah, Praj. So I will, I will, uh, I will uh, take uh, this opportunity to explain your viewers and probably my viewers also. Yeah. So it was, it was a. It was not that very specific. Ki mujhe wo understanding aane ke baad, like I will, I will have a very good insight. Asa kuch nahi tha. But that is that is the problem of me that I have a lot of curiosity. Yeah. So I was, uh, you probably know a basic understanding about the ethanol story and all, right? Ha ha. So, yeah. so when I was reading about ethanol, then one word came, methanol. Yeah. Abhi yeah. methanol kya hai? Ruska story kya hai? So why uh, Indian government is pushing more on ethanol side and not why not methanol? Why not methanol? But its answer directly is not given. Ah, it's not a Google search that methanol is different. So then I have some. Uh, I I also I, I take one magazine on chemicals that is Chemical Haan. Weekly. So it's a so good which, magazine. What is the name, sir? Chemical, Chemical Weekly. So Chemical it's weekly. a weekly magazine you get yeah. every week. It's a good magazine to have uh, to get like industry updates. Wow. So when I was reading, then I started getting some uh, understanding. Ki this is this is how the methanol is manufactured. This is how the wow. ethanol is manufactured. Yeah. Ethanol manufacture at that time you need a lot of coal. So finally, mm. you're not going to reduce the emissions. Oh, uh, uh, and, and different things. So uh, ethanol, methanol use करके efficiency भी काफी कम हो जाती है. Mm. So so that particular understanding, uh, I mean, I was looking for that research, and it probably took me five six hours just to have a small, very small understanding. Same thing has happened multiple times. कि एक कोई word नहीं समझ जाता है फिर आगे का reference कुछ नहीं समझता है. Correct. So, but uh, important thing is like you have to stick with the problem, and then keep on finding. But but you uh, can't like uh, it's a it's a one time investment. You have to invest that time to understand it correctly. May not it may not immediately help you in the future. Research का problem वही है कि what you going to read today not going to help you tomorrow, mm-hmm. but it will definitely help you in next six months or Next six years also. Wow. If you are wrong today, I am not sure. Ki, like in in future, that thing can correct uh, can uh, cause a cause a trouble. Correct because you have left that link. That methanol, ethanol, the difference. What is it? So, now it will not impact me. But when when I will have a some downside situation. Correct. Then I have to make a call, na? And it correct. not it. It may not only my maybe with respect to methanol, but it can be anything. But Correct. I have to make that call. Correct. What can I do? Abhi Praj Industries, I have suppose 400 rupees I bought, and it has become 100 rupees. So I don't know, like, what can I do? 100 rupees I have to buy another. Or then I have to send it to him, or I have to hold it. And Only that price, the price, price not uh, not going to tell me that thing. Only Correct. understanding about the business will tell me. Correct. And price is all most of the time is a misleading indicator. Correct. Bull market, me the 10 rupee things can go to 50 rupee, and beer market, me that 10 rupee thing also can be available for 2 rupee. Correct. So 2 rupee is also wrong uh, price, and uh, probably 50 or 60 rupees is also wrong price. And both are the opportunities for you as an investor. You can buy that 10 rupee thing at 2 rupee, and again that 10 rupee thing you can sell at 50 or 60 rupee. Which I mean, I have done both the things like. <laughs> When was there, there when there was opportunity? But you have to understand that uh, this is the right time to get out of it because there was a lot of euphoria, and there is a good time that everyone is ignoring it, and that yeah. is how I think the opportunities get uh, created, and that is why market is a fantastic thing. Like here, everyone, I mean, you will get a lot of opportunities either on exit side or on a buying side. Yeah, correct. It is probably like a very good. Time uh, due to this inflation and lot of uncertainties. That's why a lot of businesses go on. I mean, are available at the uh, cheap valuation. Yeah, so we have to have that understanding on a business side to look for like what is good. Because another problem with bear market is good and bad business. Everything falls. <laughs> right. Then then then. So how differentiation factor. हाँ कि प्राइस देख के हाउ विल अंडरस्टैंड कि दो स्टॉक सपोज दोनों पचास पचास परसेंट गिर गए तो फिर हाउ विल अंडरस्टैंड कि किसको खरीदना और किसको नहीं खरीदना तो तो अभी कोविड के टाइम पे तो एच बैंक भी गिर गया था और बाकी बैंक भी गिर गए थे बट अंटिल एंड लेस आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड की एच बैंक या कोटक बैंक आर द रियल स्ट्रॉन्ग बैंक एंड अदर्स आर नॉट तो प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है कि यू माइट गेट इट फिफ्टी चीपर 
but good business is recovers and bad business doesn't recover yeah they will stay same 50% down uh, so they will stay 50% down or they will just go 50% more down <laughs> out of it uh, so means Correct. 100 ka 50 ho jayega and 50 ka 20 ho jayega so again you going to lose 50% it's not like uh, it, it already corrected by 50% you going to get get it cheap Correct. optically price wise cheap is is nothing nothing to understand uh, how well it is business wise करेक्ट करेक्ट पिक द द आपने जो मिस्टेक बोला इन कि अगर आपको बिजनेस नहीं पता और टिकर पे पाइसल डिसीजन लेते हो तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपको जब वो 50 60% परसेंट डाउन होगा तो पता ही नहीं चलेगा कि इसे बेचना है खरीदना है वेन आई जस्ट स्टार्टेड इन इन्वेस्टिंग राइट जस्ट वन टू मंथ हो गया था तब भी मैं वैसे करता था लेकिन आई जस्ट टू कॉपी पीपल एक खुद पता नहीं क्या बिजनेस है कंपनी क्या है बस कॉपी कर रहे हैं तो जब वो फिफ्टी परसेंट डाउन हो गया तब मुझे पता नहीं चल रहा था कि खरीदू कि नहीं खरीदू कि बेचू चालू खरीदू लेकिन जब अभी बिजनेस पढ़ते अच्छे से समझता है तब पता चलता है कि इवन इफ इट इज ट्वेंटी थर्टी परसेंट डाउन इट्स लाइक हमें पता है क्यों डाउन है और ये जब अच्छा सीजन आएगा तब ये ऑटोमेटिकली रिकवर हो जाएगा जब वो अंडरस्टैंडिंग ही नहीं होती है तो यू आर ब्लैंक एंड मार्केट इज इज अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स इंस्ट्रूमेंट कभी कभी क्या होता है एवरीथिंग इज राइट मीन इट हैज विद मी ऑल्सो मीन से आई बॉट समथिंग एट से थाउजेंड रुपीज and everything is good like good, business good. is doing yeah. good everything they are progressing yeah. and wo 1000 rupees ka stock ho jata hai 700 ya 600 <laughs> then fir again it is a question abhi kya karne ka abhi kya because yeah. like you your understanding is that ki it's it's going well you have a data i mean then you have to cross check like am i missing something mm. and does market knows more or sometimes it's just like you have to give some time mm. आई मीन कभी कुछ भी नहीं होता है सिर्फ वो स्टॉक प्राइस गिर जाता है ऐसा भी होता है कभी कभी तो मीन्स ये अलग अलग एक्सपीरियंसेस है फ्रॉम विच यू टू यू टू लर्न एंड लाइक अवॉइड दैट मिस्टेक्स इन फ्यूचर करेक्ट करेक्ट सो डू यू please don't come with a like a blind uh, uh, understanding that you don't know anything and a vision to create uh, wealth right mm. definitely lot lot many things are possible out of investing but you have to understand the background process also uh, it's not like a get rich quick system here yeah right and yeah. and uh, i will i will request everyone please avoid the the speculative kind of a thing Yeah. FNO and options and intraday trading is highly risky. You going to erode your capital sooner than later. Yeah. When everything goes up, everything looks fantastic. When everything goes down, I mean you don't have the capital to again come back to the market. Correct. Okay. Best thing is like go with the good businesses, go with the good valued businesses. Yeah. Because valuation is also very important. Mm. And if you yourself cannot determine it, go with the index approach. or go with the mutual fund approach or go with the pm pms approach so that like at least your money will be taken care of mm-hmm. and very simple and probably very difficult thing to follow is have a patience uh-huh. having a patience during a bad time correct acche time mein to sab log even can hold it because woh roz upar jata hai uh-huh. but when it corrects by 50% then one should have that patience to hold it for the the longer time because every business and every uh sector goes through the bad cycles correct right uh, and and it is not possible that i will buy every business during its bad time yeah um, i will buy it intermediate level and it uh, some some other like like this war no one was predicted ki russia correct ukraine ka war ho jayega right correct. so, so I, i cannot uh, wait for the war and then i will invest yeah right i will i already invested and now uh, the supply chain issues and everything is there so what i can do i will just hold wait like the things will go back to normal and then uh, i mean i will i will i will get a better return so patience is i think very important fantastic think, focus on the research and stay put with your investments time will i think give you fantastic results and i think that is that is what is my understanding you know. fantastic fantastic sir and this was a fantastic 45 minutes master class Uh, investment master class so thanks thanks for coming on the podcast learned a lot from this one thanks jay and uh, all the best for uh, whatever you are doing at this this early age uh, you have age factor with you and i have all my uh, 
like uh, I'll I'll wish you the best luck uh, for whatever you are doing related to market or otherwise. Thank you for uh, very much for inviting me. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming.